télévision et le temps. Et délivrez-nous de la liberté. When she leaves home in the morning, she tries out her one foot takeoff. Half on the pedal, half on land with a leaned over look. Along and above, into appealing Pigalle, empty and downlit. From the descent of Tourlac to the buzz of Lafayette. What is speed without the heartbeat push of a human? What is the wind without her in it? Without commitment to losing count of the passing pedestrian she spins between. Like a duke, heartful, sweating, laughing. She sees herself brief, reflected in the car's arm she weaves among. Yes, the wind is with her. A wind for the weaving two-wheeler on magenta. Which means the season must be changing. Which means the content and the commute of characters is the real public gesture that past what is our private imagined. There is a moment that is a visit to a different world, where bicycles and the things they kiss can be every sound. Where bicycles, the shapes and colors they make, are the everything's really on the ground, beyond the busy blues of Belleville, until the outside sense becomes the inside sense, where a body of a bike becomes a body of ourselves, and where tunnel vision can be a park in itself. Rolling around the terrain of something regular, she sings, regardless, now in the final stretch. Remember the rond point for the sake of memory, that the turn is an instant and a fine peak into eternity. Downtown, she turns wide eyes, horizontal, looking for intuition. In the rue now reflected, the city speaks in recognition. And stopped, we listen with a new form of fiction. <laughs> 